Hi folks, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me today and welcome to all the new subscribers. There was a magnitude 6.3 earthquake that USGS revised to a magnitude 5.7 at 10.06 a.m. Um, local time there on the big island of Hawaii. Looks like they revised the location once again to the area close to Pahala. Um, originally they said it was down over here and that it was uh, 10 kilometers in depth or about 6 miles below sea level. All earthquakes are measured from sea level. Now this 5.7 was 22.9 miles deep and so far there has been uh, let's see, I'll pull it up. 49 earthquakes. 1,029 people so far have reported to USGS that they felt this earthquake. And reports are coming in um, across, what, three other islands. Four, counting the big island of Hawaii. And here you can see we got Mountain View Intensity Level 6. Um, doesn't give a location there. Intensity Level 6. Um, Pahala intensity level six. I certainly hope there is no one that has been injured. It was felt by all people. Many were frightened and ran outdoors. Falling plaster, chimney, small damage. There was one report where someone said they saw two waves. There is no tsunami warning. About 15 miles southwest said it was violent shaking for a significant amount of time. Stuff was falling off the counter. Um, we got lots of people saying how everything shook. This one here says lasted longer than any other that I felt in the last five years. Here's the one about the waves. Several big waves, significant shaking. Another one from Fern Acres. Very scary. Lots of shaking and a huge jolt or two. Lasted a long time. Loud and shook my entire home in Orchard Land. Um, let's see, stuff was falling off on me, I guess, I don't know. Another one says, I was working in the alcohol section of Safeway and felt the ground shake twice and heard the glass bottles shaking. Thankfully, none fell off and made a mess. Hilo, Max Scary, almost ran outside. Huge, long jolt with a, a long rolling Another one says it tipped over their beer. Another one from Kailua Kona started as a low rumble and shake and built up. Was a good 20 seconds of shaking. Another one from the same location. This was a good one with two hits. Lasted a few seconds longer than most. My dog heard it at first coming before it hit. She started barking for no reason. Or so I thought. Um, did you guys feel dizzy or did your pets react? I would like to know more information about this earthquake. Pia Pia Kio, which was 79 kilometers northeast, which was almost 50 miles. Huge quake here. Things flew off the shelves. Uh, another one from the same location. It was long. Things broke. Very terrifying. Another one said, pretty strong shaking with a couple of stronger bursts. Lasted about 45 seconds or more. Now in Maui, it says, mild but long. Felt shaking, though lighter as time passed. For up to a minute. Another one from Maui. Halalulu. Felt while lying down with an audible but soft building furniture creaking and wind chimes ringing. Okay, another one from Honolulu. Two very short, not too strong um, shakes. This one here says 10.07, but it was actually 10.06 a.m. Hawaii time. Lateral movement like riding over a traffic speed bump. Lasted for five seconds and tapered rapidly for another five seconds. Was sitting on a wooden chair. Heard the double hung windows in the direction of propagation rattling um, and they give their street they were on island of Oahu 
Kailua, upstairs sitting on bed, floor shook as well as bed and walls. Back and forth shaking, I could hear the building move. Lasted a decent amount of time. Definitely knew it was an earthquake since I'm from Southern California. Did you bring the California earthquakes with you? This is close to the Helena Slump, and it's also close to the Southwest Rift Zone. Yeah, they're expecting um, another eruption probably there at Kilauea, or it could erupt along the Southwest Rift Zone. You guys need to be prepared. My mother, who lives in California, the San Francisco Bay Area, um, lost power because of the storms for um, about three days. And she lost all her food that was in the refrigerator and freezer. She's not going to be reimbursed because it was caused by the storm. So they're not going to get any compensation for the food that was lost. A good reason to have a backup power source. And she's watched my videos about solar generators, um, a battery bank. And if she had one, she would not have lost her um, food supplies. She had no way of cooking food, so she ended up just munching on crackers and cheese and um, different snacks that she had. Two days of going without any decent food, my brother finally came by on Tuesday and brought her a hot meal. And then, I guess Wednesday morning, the power was restored. But evidently, there in the Bay Area, they still have thousands of people who don't have power. This is why you need to be prepared for a disaster. Have um, a backup power supply, food, water, medical supplies. I hope no one was hurt during this earthquake. Um, like I said, this is close to the Pahal, or yeah, um, Helena Slump. Yeah, the Helena Slump. And also got the Rift Zone. So do you have more information that you can share with us about this earthquake? Please put it down below. Please stay safe. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and share. Share so we can get more information. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.